What's up guys? So today we are talking about the types of loafers that every guy needs to know about. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gen Sanj. I'm George. This is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today we are talking about the essential spring summer shoe, the loafer. Now there's tons of different types of loafers for different occasions, different looks, and different styles. And today we're going to try to cover all of them in a short, succinct period of time. Yeah, so each of these, George and I own them, and the shoes that we actually wear. So if we are missing some loafers, it's because we don't use them. These are specific to us and the types that you guys should be rocking. Right, guys. So up first is your basic, this is Blake's, I do not own one of these, um, penny loafer. You know, I, when I see these, I think of my like Catholic grade school and okay. my teacher that wore these constantly, and she had two pennies. To, it was a lady, too. Uh Penny loafers, okay guys, penny loafers are traditional. It's a shoe, it's, it was, it's used for like preparatory, but they're also, they're elegant without being overly dressed up. So for instance, say you have an interview and you don't wanna be over the top, a penny loafer is the exact shoe you should be wearing. It's subtle, but it's classy at the same time. I love to wear them with socks, and especially the socks that have like the lines um, where you get like a nice, you know, a nice substance to them. Um, you can wear these without socks or no-show socks for the summer appeal with shorts, with denim, and they'll give your look a different approach without looking overly dressed up. So of all the loafers we have here, I think this is one of the most versatile that we have, which is why we're starting off with it. Okay, um, and on that note, I'm gonna pick up the one that I think is the most versatile, which is from Gordon Rush. Similar vibe, but it has a more pointy, like pointier toe. Like this one, the penny loafer is a little rounded, a little casual for my taste and opinion. Just when I look down at it, it feels like my toe just looks like a rectangle. And Blake has smaller feet than I do, so maybe he doesn't have that issue. I do. But these from Gordon Rush, they're super, oh my God, they're super light um, suede. They have a little more classier toe, and they still have the penny loafer kind of cover closing vibe to it. So these would be the most versatile on my list. All right, guys, next on the list, we have these, which are my newest and my most favorite of the moment. They are drivers. As you can tell, they are a driver. A driver's shoe typically was used back in the day for um, somebody who had a nice car. They would switch their nice brogues to a driver that were only used in the vehicle. So what Blake forgot to mention is that these are his favorite because they're Tom Ford and they're super nice drivers. So everyone does need a driver in their collection at some point in your life. Maybe you're not there yet, but one day you'll find the need and you will add one to your collection. I found it probably about a year ago. I think Blake found it a few years before I did. But I do really like this belted chain look here. I think it just classes up kind of a very, very casual shoe. So it lets you wear it to some extra occasions that you normally wouldn't get to wear a driver to. Yeah, drivers are more padded, they're cut higher. So they are like, they do have like a sneaker feel to them. They're a lot more comfortable than probably any of the other loafers up here, but they are the most casual at the same time. Right, like once you turn 35, like this replaces your sneakers that you run to the grocery store. Yeah, you just throw yeah. on your drivers and you run, it, run some errands in these bad boys. All right guys, so up next on the list, we have these tassel loafers from Santoni. We actually have a full segment coming out on just tassel loafers, so stay tuned for that. But these are like my workhorse of loafers. So I wore these all through Italy. I wore them with denim, suits, trousers, pretty much every type of outfit you can think of, and they went perfectly. And what I love about these is they are like thin and just easy to slip on, and they're comfortable. The sole is really thin, so I know if you guys are like the Goodyear Welt type of people, um, but, it's, it's a plank stitch. Yeah, but, but that's, that's not what, what makes a loafer, a, That's yeah. what makes a loafer great, is the thin streamlinedness of the loafer. So along with that thin streamlinedness, I have these by Gucci. They the are, Wall they, Street essential. They have, but these are the, yeah, they are the Wall Street, but they are very comfortable. These are like a slipper. They're super, super lightweight again. Not as lightweight as the uh, suede, but they are classy. They have a nice uh, finish to them. I think the reason why I chose these is because of the hardware. The hardware is, is like substantial. You can see it. A little jingle when you walk yeah, down the hallway, I mean, people hear you coming. It's a Gucci loafer though. I mean, essentially this could replace your Oxfords that you, that you wear to a meeting or Oxfords that you, that you wear on a date because say it's summertime or it's springtime and you know it's a little warm outside but you want to dress up, these Gucci loafers are them. Yes. Right? I, trust me, I love, I love the Gucci loafer. But what a lot of people that own Gucci loafers don't understand is that your pants 
need to be tailored and yes. tapered and you know, little to no break on the pants if you wanna pull off a loafer with style. Cause if you're just throwing some jeans on and it's, your jeans are covering the horse bit, you might as well just get some Payless loafers at this point. Exactly, and also because this part right here, this tongue-ish part, it goes really high, okay? So you guys have to know that with certain loafers, they go really high, they're cut high, meaning your trousers can hit it and it's gonna bend the shoe and it's gonna give you this ugly break. It's not gonna look good, guys, okay? All right, guys, and last but not least on the list, you have seen these before from Moral Code. Um, I've styled these in a few different ways, but this is pretty much a combination of every shoe rolled into one. You got a wingtip, a monk strap, or just a strap, a loafer style, and then a little kilty on top. So these are doing a little bit of everything. These are so ugly, I like them. They are like that ugly cute. I don't know, I have a thing for them, but at the same time, I don't, you know? Like, I honestly, looking at them, like I said in the previous video that we featured these, I don't like them. But when I put them on my feet with an outfit, and like a subtle outfit nonetheless, it works because this makes the statement. Well, if you guys know us, you guys know that we always include safe shoes, um, heritage shoes, and we also include a statement shoe. So this would be your statement shoe. Right, this is probably not the first loafer you're going with. Honestly, if I could suggest any, I would go tassel, horse bit, or this plain looking guy would be one of the three, depending on what looks good to your eye. If you like it, you're probably gonna wear it more, so buy what you like. Exactly. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was helpful for you. So these are the types of loafers every guy should know. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when we release our tassel loafer only video. It's gonna be a good one. And if you have not followed us on Instagram yet, at Jen's Lounge, be sure to give us a follow over there and drop us a comment. Cheers, Cheers. guys.